Hey, good morning, my friends. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa. Thank you for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update. Um, we have a significant storm system, and if you've watched me over the last 33 years, you know that I'm not an alarmist. Um, I like to let you know if it's a significant storm, and it is a significant storm coming to the Great Lakes area and the Midwest, uh, Michigan, Lower Michigan might be positioned in the best spot of the storm in that it looks like a heavy snow in the UP on uh, Friday, Friday night, Saturday, and it looks like a severe weather outbreak to our south in Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, uh, Kentucky, Tennessee on uh, Friday. And we may be probably in the middle where we'll get some uh, nice spring showers and maybe thunderstorms, and then we might end up with some flakes of snow too. But let's get into it, show you what's going on. First off, look at the storm. Now, you may have a hard time picking out what you're looking at. You're looking at the left or the right side of the screen is Washington, Oregon, California, into about Colorado and Wyoming. Um, and you see that storm center off the coast of California. That is the storm that will be making its way across the country here over the next a couple of days. And I just wanted to start with this. This is the Friday uh, severe weather outlook. Okay. And, um, you know, that is, that's the outlook from Friday morning, 8 a.m. to Saturday morning. 8 a.m. So Friday night and uh, early Saturday morning down I-75, you might run into some severe weather. And uh, fortunately now, you know, fortunately our phones, unless I think you can disable it some, but fortunately our phones um, know where we're at. And then when the weather service issues a tornado warning, it's much like the Amber Alert. Everybody's phone will go off in that spot. So it helps nowadays with traveling uh, because you don't have to know exactly what county you're in. It will go off if you get under a tornado warning. So, um, hey, good morning, Azura Carl uh, at the Double Tree. Oh, yeah, okay. We met. Yeah, hey, good morning. Uh, all right, so let's take a look at the models and show you what's going to happen. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa. We're going to get into this now here and show you the rundown like you've never seen before. So, all right, so here we go. Today we have a cold front moving through, and I will look at this closer in right after this. So hang tight there, um, Marianne North. Uh, so then cold front with a few rain or snow showers today, dry tomorrow. Um, and then this is Friday morning and Friday afternoon. And then really the storm gets cranked up Friday night and comes across northern lower Michigan on Saturday. And then the colder air moves in for just one day. And then we're starting to see where we get two or three of seven days flirting with 60 degrees now. And you can see how the cold air is kind of backing off a little bit. This is next Monday. And then by next Tuesday and Wednesday, the next strong storm system, and we could be even stronger into the warm sector on that. Uh, depending on the timing, we may have our first chance of severe weather in Michigan uh, next Tuesday or Wednesday. Still a cold pocket behind it for a day. And then we take off with warmer temperatures. You go out 10 days, and that's showing that winter is really, really letting go and getting to a true um spring-like pattern and i thought it'd be the first week of april it's a couple of degrees a couple of days slower but it looks like the timing is right on so this is a closer look and this are the rain and snow showers today and they're sporadic and they're light no travel problems associated with that and then thursday is excellent now lynn uh, ripma i think is how you say it not exactly sure she's asking about spring break travel um, is it better to go Thursday than Friday? Well, this is Thursday evening, Thursday overnight, 
Friday early morning. So yes, Thursday is dry. Friday afternoon, you get into the thunderstorms um, in Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky. And then this is Friday night. And then this is Saturday morning. So the Friday period is quite a stormy, rainy period. Uh, Friday night, look at where the heavy snow is. It's across the UP. The rain snow line is across the Mackinac Bridge into the UP. And then Saturday morning, the colder air starts to ooze in, not real vigorously. You get some snow showers across maybe the northern half of lower Michigan by Saturday morning, just for a couple of hours, and warm enough that it does not stick in northern lower. And then we go into next week, and the same deal. We're into the warm sector of the storm, and that would be more of a severe weather look depending on the timing. You know, if it happens in the middle of the night like this shows, then storms tend to weaken in Michigan early. We tend to not have a whole lot of severe weather that happens in the middle of the night. It's just too cool here, stabilizes. All right, now let's look at temperatures. High temperatures today gonna to be on the cool side. You know, 40s in Detroit and Ann Arbor and Monroe, but then it's upper 30s from Flint. Uh, Grand Rapids, mid to upper 30s, and Flint, or Saginaw Bay City, Midland, upper 30s. And uh, Traverse City, High temperature today, maybe feeling winter, maybe 30 degrees. I tend to find that these cold forecasts are a little bit too cold at this time of the year. If the sun pops out, the ground heats up a little bit. Uh, Thursday, somewhat better in the 40s. Friday, feeling very spring-like. Uh, Josh Lee, how will the winds be with this weekend system? That is a good um, point, Josh Lee. Uh, Saturday, it looks like you'll have wind gusts to 40 miles an hour out of the, well, let's call it the, let's call it the west and northwest. Um, and then, and then we'll look at, uh, dying winds on Sunday. Uh, so this is Friday's high temperature. Feeling spring-like from Mount Pleasant to Bay City, uh, Big Rapids southward in the low 60s. Uh, Saturday. Falling temperatures after highs in the 40s and 50s. Sunday, the temperatures have stabilized in the 40s, but then look, the, the warmth comes back by Monday, already going to 60. So this would be the first seven-day period where we have two 60-degree days in it. Uh, and then this is Tuesday, I should say three 60-degree days, and maybe our first flirt with... 70 degrees in southern lower Michigan next Tuesday, ahead of the storm system. And then behind it, there's still this reservoir of cold. This is shows Thursday, April 6th. Cold, yeah, that might be a little bit overdone, but certainly one day of cold is possible. And then we're right back to uh, 60 degrees or so. So you can get a feel that in the next week, we're starting to have... Uh, the next jump towards spring. How much precipitation? It's going to be loaded. Uh, so this is this is our storm through Sunday. You know, it's an inch of rain probably in the from Grand Rapids to Saginaw northward, and in the southeast, it's a, a good solid half inch on spurts of showers and thunderstorms. Tom Ramsey, good week to trim the grapes. It most certainly is. Um, and then, you know, we got storms next week, storm systems, and so we add on another inch of precipitation. So we are getting some solid spring moisture, and I don't think it hurts to show you the snowfall. So remember, Thursday night, the warm front comes through, and it might put down a couple of inches of wet snow from Cadillac to Houghton Lake to Standish and Tawas. That would be very short-lived on the ground because <clears throat> Friday would be warm enough. Uh, Kimberly Fox, Finelli, clear on Sunday? Yes, I would say generally clear. Um, uh, let's see, Lori Andrzejewski, Hall. I'll travel today from Traverse City to Port Huron, then back to Traverse City 
on Saturday morning. Any issues? Not terrible. Today is fine. You know, some spurts of a rain shower or two with some flakes of snow. Saturday morning back to Traverse City. You know, I, I wouldn't go super early in the morning. I'd let the sun come up and warm it up well above freezing. And you really shouldn't have any uh, major problems. Now, this is the snowfall across the UP. And again, this will probably overdone, but it shows you where the heavy snow band could be on this Friday, Saturday thing. And I would call it a, a six to 10 inch band of snow somewhere across the UP. So rain will start Friday or Thursday night. Kylie Aldridge, let's go back to this. Um, let's see. So this is this is Thursday night, Friday morning. So a very early burst of some showers. And then by Friday morning, we're into the showers. So basically, yeah, I would call it Thursday night, Friday morning. The rain will start and then it will continue in spurts into uh, Friday. Mimi Noonan, Manistee on Saturday. Let's go to Saturday morning in Manistee. You probably change over to some wet snow showers uh, sometime Saturday morning, but you know you might have an inch or something like that sticking uh, on the ground for a short time period. When and if do you start planting flowers or crops? Make sure there's plenty of sunshine. Oh yes, okay, that's right. Um, snowing in Gladwin right now says Cherry Hertrick. Hetrick, thank you. Um, Sounds like time to remove the plow off the ranger, Bob Rotz. Uh, I would say, yeah, if you don't do it professionally, I think you could remove it because if we do get a surprise snow in the next couple of weeks, I don't think it's likely, but if we do, it's gone off at least the roads the next day. Uh, snow in Kent City right now. Um, and that should be about it. So. There you have the rundown. Uh, there are some things to watch here the next few days in weather. The main thing to watch is if you're traveling south uh, Friday, then you could be in a severe thunderstorm area, possible. And um, in general, you'll have a lot of numerous showers and heavy thunderstorms, so it won't be you know, it won't be a continuous all out heavy rain drive, you know, for hundreds of miles, but you'll hit these bands and spurts and you want to keep an eye on that. I mean, when I'm traveling, I always like to see if I'm running into a big line of thunderstorms. I don't really like to drive through that kind of stuff, especially when you have a lot of traffic going on. So you find yourself a, a crack barrel <laughs> or whatever you do and uh, wait it out for an hour. You know, you kind of time your your stops based on the weather on Friday on something like this. And then some people just want to flat out fly, drive too fast and get to where they want to go for spring break. So there you go. Thanks for joining me on the MLive morning weather update. We had a big crowd today and I will be watching the storm systems for you. We'll get by. It's not a snowstorm for most of lower Michigan. <laughs> I'm starting to feel the heat on that. And, uh, We'll keep you updated. Thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa.